Welcome back to Noodle Analysis. Today we are going to solve a circuit with two nodes, one and two, and a reference node it is here. So let's go ahead and start our solution. You can see there are multiple sources, 12 volt and 6 volt source, and there are five elements over here. First of all, we will select a reference node. So it will be the one with most of the elements connected to it. So let's go ahead and select this node as a reference node because there are four different elements one two three and four connected to it so this is our reference node next step would be to name our nodes so you can see there are two two nodes uh, other than reference node over here so i'm going to name these nodes p and q and these these nodes will also serve as the name or representation for the voltage of these nodes the third will be we will see if there are any voltages that we can find in this circuit so you can see there is 0 volt over here and the 12 volt voltage source over here so the voltage over here will be 0 plus 12 volt so plus 12 volts over here similarly 0 plus 6 volt so plus 6 volt over here okay now for nodal analysis we are going to apply a KCL on each and every node so I'm going to write here at node P Uh, sum of all the currents on this node is equal to zero. So I will place three currents over here. These three currents. And I will assume all these currents are flowing into this node. Or in the current direction is inward or into the node. So KCL says that sum of all the currents will be zero. sum of all the currents is equal to 0. Now I am going to find the value of these currents. What will be the value of I1? You can see this current is flowing from here to here that is in this direction. So current always flows from higher to lower potential. So I am going to write 12 volt minus P divided by the resistance between these two points here and here. So that is 10 ohms. And this, uh, so this is basically Ohm's law that we are applying over here that I is equal to V over R or delta V over R. Similarly, for this element 0 minus P over 5 ohms and for this it will be, since the voltage over here is Q, you can see that I have placed a Q over here. So voltage on this node is Q and on this node is P and I3 is flowing in this direction from here to here. So, I3 will be Q minus P over 10 ohms. Next, I'm going to place these currents over here. So, 12 minus P over 10 plus minus P over 5 plus Q minus P over 10 is equal to 0. After I simplify this, uh, we will get an equation 4P minus Q is equal to 12. Let's go ahead and name this equation as equation A. And you can solve this by taking the LCM and then uh, simply adding up and then cross multiplying. Next we are going to apply the same procedure at node Q. So this is current I4 and this is current I5. And why I have not placed any current over here? Because I have already assumed the current I3 to be flowing in this branch. I3 is already flowing in this branch. So what I'm going to do is I am going to change the direction of this current. The current will still be I3 but it will be with a negative sign that flows into this node. Why is that? Because you know if this is a point and a current is flowing into this direction that is IA then what current will be flowing in this direction? That is simply negative of IA. So the current in this branch will be I3 and the current flowing into this node will be minus I3. So minus I3 plus I4 plus I5 is equal to 0. Now we are going to find the values of I4 and I5 and that will be similar to the ones we have already found. So that will be 0 minus Q 
over 10 and 6 minus q over 5. 6 minus q over 5. Let's place these values in this equation. p minus q over 10 plus minus q over 10 plus 6 minus q over 5 is equal to 0. And similarly, by solving this equation, we will get p minus 4q is equal to minus 12. Now we have two equations and two variables. So we can apply any technique for the solution of two equations involving two variables to solve these and find the value of p and q. I'm going to use the simplest one. That will be, I will, first of all, I will write equation A as it is. Then I'm going to multiply equation B with the coefficient of P in equation A. That is the coefficient is 4 here, so I'm going to multiply this equation with 4. So it will be 4P minus 16Q is equal to 48. And then I'm going to subtract these equations. So this will be 15Q is equal to 60 and Q will be 4. Now I'm going to place this value of q in equation number b. So p minus 4q is equal to minus 12 will become p is equal to minus 12 minus 4q which is equal to minus 12 minus 4, 4 which will be 4, 4 volts. So now we have the value of both nodes p and q. The voltage over node P is 4 volt and the voltage over node Q is 4 volt. We can easily see that if voltage on these both nodes is uh, same, so basically there will be no current flowing in this branch of the circuit. And we will see this from the equations as well. So let's go ahead and put it in these equations. 12 minus P, 12 minus 4 will be 8 over 10, which is equal to 0.8 amperes. 0 minus P which will be minus 4 over 5 which is negative 0.8 ampere and q minus p 4 minus 4 4 minus 4 over 10 which is equal to 0 ampere minus q over 10 which will be minus 4 over 10 minus 0.4 ampere and i5 will be 6 minus 4 over 5 which is equal to 0.4 ampere so this is greater than 0, less than 0, equal to 0, less than 0, greater than 0. So first of all the current I3 is equal to 0 and it I3 equal to 0 which tallies that the voltage over here is 4 volt and voltage over here is 4 volts so no current should flow in this. So current here is 0. Next we have two currents that are negative. I2 is 0 and uh, sorry I2 is negative and I4 is negative. So basically the current direction of currents I2 and I4 are not as we assumed actually they are reverse. So I will negate the direction of these currents that we have previously assumed and I am going to place new directions of I2 and I4. So we have uh, now we have value of all the currents and all the voltages in this circuit. Next some of the questions in the exercises often ask uh, students to find power in one of the elements. So we are going to find power in this element with current I4 flowing through it. So power over here will be product of voltage into the current flowing through it. So the voltage over here will be delta V. So delta V or change in voltage across this element is Q minus 4 because higher high voltage is 4 volt and lower voltage is 0 volts. So 4 minus 0 into the current flowing from it, uh, through it is 0.4 ampere. Power in this element will be 1.6 watts. Similarly, you can find power through any element in this circuit or you can find the power of whole circuit by summing up the value of 
power in every individual element of the circuit so that is all for today thank you for watching if you want to learn more you can either click over here to learn how to solve super nodes using creature of current law and nodal analysis or you can click over here to learn how operational amplifiers work